All right, just before I get started here, I just wanted to, uh, like a lot of people in the, in the Atlanta area, in the football community, were saddened to hear about Robbie Roper, uh, the Roswell quarterback in the community and his family. I just want to send my condolences. And then on, a, on another note, um, it was really nice to, to get up, win at home here. I appreciate our fans. Our fans have been great all year, as we, especially, you know, these, a lot of our fans have traveled, Carolina, Jacksonville, and it was good to reward them with a home win. Having said that, R.D. led. Yeah, Coach, uh, could you discuss the play of uh, Florian Lula trying kind of at the end to preserve the uh, victory for you all today? Yeah, that's what uh, D. led. That's kind of been our, our ethos, you know, find a way to win. I believe, um, fact check me here, Bassey, that puts us, what, seven and two in one possession games? Seven and two in one possession games. So that's what we're trying to create a culture of winning, playing as a team, playing smart situational football. Um, you know, obviously, there at the end, they were getting cover zero, so we, we got the check we wanted. Obviously, the ball came out, but uh, but I got all the faith in the world and Russ and their team. If you've seen the, the mindset, it was there was no there was no long faces. My defense went back out there, grinded it out. We preached situational football, made them earn it, and uh, Foyo came, Foye came up with a big play there. And throughout the course of the game, uh, the, the Ryan to Big combination. Sure. To carry, uh, carry off this yeah, I mean, you got to give Detroit credit here. Um, They've been playing good football late. They're, they were going to shorten this game down. We knew possessions were going to be limited. So when we stumbled to start the game, you know, it was going to be their kind of game. They were going to basically play four-minute offense. I believe they had the ball for 38 minutes. So we needed to be really efficient. Possessions were limited, if, you know, when we stumbled. But that's what you have to do. You have to adjust. He led. I uh, saw a couple things. We adjusted. Uh, got a couple looks second half, able to push the ball down the field. And uh, it was a good job by, by Matt and Kyle. And, and, and the entire team. Is this Matt's play today, that was his 366 touchdown pass, uh, kind of with Eli Manning? Yeah, there's uh, not, not a lot of guys like Matt Ryan. Uh, he, he's a, a joy to coach. Uh, he's tough, low maintenance for a guy of his caliber. I can't say no good things about Matt. Thanks. Michael. Uh, yeah, quick, 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 like you mentioned cover zero at the end. How much of that was just kind of knowing what Aaron Glenn? No, it's not knowing. It, it, you no, know, you're just playing situational. Football, that's not a shot at anybody, Michael. That's not me saying oh, how, how smart we are. As it's a pretty standard issue, you're in four minute or that situation. They, they got one timeout. They're going to want to put the ball, get the ball to come out. A uh, couple different looks there. You know, they, they had sacked us on a zero look um, on an early third down, on third and long. So, I mean, it wasn't, they weren't disguising it. I mean, that's a pretty standard issue in the, in the National Football League. So, we got the look, and, the, you know, they executed better than we did at the end of the play. That's a that's a I know that's a simmering hot take. Uh, Cordero is a big part of the offense. Then he scored a touchdown again today, Michael. Uh, again, they can't. You're able to, to play the matchup game. All right, if you you want to give a certain you want to roll over here to Kyle, to CP, great. You know that's why OZ had a couple big uh, big completions. Uh, Russ, and that's what we are. Our team is trying to improve and get better. So sorry to, sorry to ruin the hot take. No, you're not ruining the hot take. Okay. It's, I'm not sure whether that, whether that was part of this as well. No, it's, it's the NFL. Michael, there's an evolution that happens during the season. There's a lot of, a lot of things that evolve. Um, he's a huge part of our offense, like I said. Got another touchdown today. I believe that's his 11th for the season. Your fourth quarter timeout, simply a matter of giving your guys a breather, or did you see something no. that you wanted to? I'm not going to get into our strategy there, but there's a lot of things that play there, Josh. You know, when you get in there and, all right, you play the game where you want to get the ball back, you give yourself a chance, or are you going to put it all in the last play? I mean, they had to have a touchdown to win. Uh, fully aware of that. There's a lot of several factors there, and I'm not going to get into specifics. There's a lot of things that, can, that there are a lot of variables that can come up where you feel the need to, to, to do that or save time or vice versa. When they bang their last time out, do you want to put pressure on them to get the call in, not bail them out? There's, there's a lot of things that got to be made, but these are all talked about beforehand while we continually uh, look at the situation. Uh, never perfect. But you, uh, you you got to be aware and be involved in every part of that game. Jordan. I want to go back to what you were talking about, about after Peter Russ fumbled the ball and you said that you felt confident in sending that defense out there. And I'm sure. Thinking, can you kind of walk me through that feeling of, of having that situational moment? Kind of well, I think that shows growth from where we've come from from early in the season. 
You know, like I said, they, the defense was on the field for 38 minutes and credit to Detroit. We understood what kind of game it was going to be, and they did a couple things where they're going to turn that clock out. It felt like four-minute offense for a lot of the games, and that's why they've gotten better, and you've got to give them credit. They've been in a lot of close football games. They've won two of the last three coming in here, um, and so, you know, they're going to run the ball in third and five, third and six, clock, clock's moving. So the, the defense has been out there. It says a lot about them. I've been a part of teams. Defense, you know, they're sitting there dragging. You know, the offense has a chance to go in the game. Again, it didn't happen that way. Uh, but I love, I love the energy they came back out of the field with. Hey, Coach. Can you talk hey. about your red zone play today? A lot better on offense, scoring twice in the red zone. We try to score every week. I, you know, a lot of say, I, I keep saying this, and maybe people roll their eyes. Um, it's, a, it's a strategy game. You go in there, there's a lot of variables with 22 players out in there. One thing can, can uh, throw you off. You may sit there and say, hey, we got guys wide open. Well, great. Well, their D lineman made a play or whatever happens, or they, they covered it this way. The defense does have a say. Uh, I thought we were better in situational football. That certainly helped us red zone defense, red zone offense. And usually when you win, that usually goes your way. It's a long season for a rookie. Like I said, it, he's just scratching the surface. He made the Pro Bowl. He broke franchise record in most yards in a season by a tight end. And he's just getting started, Michael. It's a rookie. It's a long, long year of their life. No, I know. I, mean, I appreciate the question. It's a good question. But sometimes the obvious answer, I mean, there's lulls in the season. And he's had the right mindset. That's why he's fun to coach. And uh, like I said, I told him the other day when he made the Pro Bowl, he's just scratching the surface. If he can continue to improve, we'll see where this thing goes. Every game's a different story, like what the, what their what their coverage plan is, what their third down plan is. That's a fun part of coaching. You know, move them around and then um, make adjustments, communicate. It's pretty much standard operating procedure in the National Football League. Um, credit to him. It's really, where is it's it's just a long year for those rookies. I mean, Jalen Mayfield's taken damn near every snap as a rookie, and it, it's just a long journey. And, and I'm I'm proud of those guys. You know, here we are. Going into week 17 and uh, with, the, with another big game coming up Sunday up in Buffalo. Coach, you want to follow up with another rookie, uh, Richie Grant, like he's out there making a few plays out there. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about his development? You know, sure. Yeah, like, I like, like this whole rookie class. I mean, Ade, they all, they've all contributed. They've all, um, it's a long journey. And we had, you know, two veteran safeties, and we understood that going into this thing. It's why we play these guys again. Strategy going into the preseason, why we needed to play all these guys that never played a snap in the, in the NFL, because you're going to get in the season, and this is what happens. And that's, what, that's where Richie is. He made a big impact early in the season on special teams. Now he's starting to make an impact on defense. His journey is just beginning, too. We've all seen it. The rookies that come out, and you never hear from them again after year one. We want our guys to improve and get better year over year, the entire team. And obviously things come up, and that'll be the goal every season. From a protection standpoint, did you make any changes after the first series? Or just well, both, but I mean the one, you know, I guess they got credited one that that that, that rule there. If you're an offensive coach with a no yard gain when he runs out, I guess they credit to him. I'd, I'd love to know where the evolution of that one came from, but I'm sure there's some defensive guys that push that through. Uh, D led maybe can tell me that one. <laughs> so that guy, guy, you know, they made a play one on one. The next the next one came under all that pressure and we didn't get the ball out. So that's kind of what happened. If you go back, Josh, you look at the games, we played well. We played well situationally, short yardage red zone. Again, I know another scorching hot take when you get recency bias, when you get down there like we stalled out last weekend, sure, you clump numbers together. Clump them together today, pretty damn good. But that's usually the story when you win or you lose. Can you like not to have turnovers? Obviously, we had the one late. Can you win up front? Can you handle situational football? That's where most of these games come down to in the National Football League. Thank you. Thank you.